The Legend of Zelda is a classic series, and for good reason. It has seen entries on every Nintendo platform, and with each of them being considered, if not the best on the platform, one of the best. This trend is continued with The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. This was released to the Game Boy Color as a sister game to the Oracle of Seasons, with each of them acting like one half of a much larger experience. And while the game may be part of something larger, it is still a solid entry on its own. Link awakes in a strange land outside of Hyrule. He quickly meets Nehru, who turns out to be the Oracle of Ages. Nehru is then kidnapped by Varan, who is out to conquer the world. This throws the world into chaos and it is up to Link to save it. To do that, Link must find several Essence of Time, which are hidden throughout the land. This starts the normal Zelda adventure, with Link traveling to the different dungeons, fighting enemies, and solving puzzles. The interesting part comes from the new items. The game is played from a classic top-down Zelda perspective, and it is brought to life with some very impressive visuals for the Game Boy. The colors are bright and the worlds are detailed. It is how you interact with the world that is more impressive. Each Zelda game introduces new items that need to be learned and used to solve puzzles. The main theme is traveling to the different ages. You will use the Harp of Ages to travel back and forth from the past and present, with your actions in the past affecting the present. If you go back in time and plant a seed, when you go to the present it will be a fully grown tree. This brings back good memories of a link to the past where you have to think in both worlds. The game works as a foil to the Oracle of Seasons. While the Seasons was a much more action-oriented, Ages focuses much more on puzzles. Don't think that means there is not any combat. You will still have to frequently use your sword to deal with the game's enemies, but for the most part the dungeons will test more your ability to think rather than your ability to fight. Even though the game is supposed to be played with the Oracle of Seasons, that doesn't mean this doesn't stand on its own. This was supposed to be the swan song for the Game Boy, and I cannot think of a much better way for it to make its exit.